Hi, my name is Violet Smith and I'm a marketing specialist here at Xeris. In the following video, Perry Corral, our Director of Product Marketing, will walk you through a brief demonstration of the Xeris Wi-Fi Array. First, we'll examine the external features. Here we can see both sides of the array. Looking at the base of the unit, we see the power supply options. Both AC and power over Ethernet connections are supported from the power supply. Looking at a little closer shows the wired side connection options. First, we have the console port offering a standard serial port connection. Next is the 10100 port. This interface is dedicated for out of band management. The last two ports are the gigabit uplinks. These ports can be configured multiple ways, including link backup for redundancy, standard 802.3 AD link aggregation, port mirroring, and even as a standard bridging service allowing the ability to daisy chain up to three arrays over a single data connection. Next, we flip the array over and remove the case to show its internal workings. The first thing you notice are the internal radios and antenna boards. The array shown is the XS16, which provides 16 separate radios. In this module, there are 12 dedicated 802.11a radios. In addition, it supports four 802.11a, b, g radios that can be configured as required. Other models of the Wi-Fi array offer four or eight radios. All models support identical feature sets, with the primary difference being between the models, the number of radios. Model selection is typically based on user capacity requirements. Newer versions of the Wi-Fi array also provide 802.11n support. And in addition to the internal antennas, the array provides up to three external TNC connections for the use of external antennas that may be required for special applications. Zooming in a little closer on one of the radio boards, it is apparent that these are modular in design, which allows for complete upgradability of the array. So as the industry moves towards 802.11n and other advanced Wi-Fi technologies, the modular design of the array provide complete upgradability to protect existing investments. In the center, we can see the central control board, where all array intelligence and data processing is handled. This design eliminates the need for an external controller and their associated latency. The main processor for the controller is a 1 GHz PowerPC processor. The array also takes advantage of an FPGA design, which, like the modular radio boards, offers complete upgradability for the array's operating system. The FPGAs provide all MAC functions, encryption, traffic queuing, and prioritization. On each side of the board are the memory modules, system memory on the left and packet memory on the right. Each offer one gigabit of memory and support the operating system and a non-blocking switch fabric. Next is the compact flash module, where multiple versions of the operating system, as well as configurations, are stored. All array memory is designed to be upgradable to meet any future requirements. Putting the lid back on, you can see the front panel and its LEDs. The LED pattern shows the internal radios are arrayed in a 360 degree pattern, providing complete coverage. The LEDs indicate radio status, activity, as well as identify the band in use. Amber LEDs indicates a 5 GHz radio. Green LEDs indicates a 2.4 GHz radio. In addition, the radio located in the 4 p.m. position is typically used as a rogue threat sensor and will strobe from green to amber as it scans the 2.4 and 5 GHz band for unauthorized rogues and stations. It also has the ability to operate as a spectrum analyzer to monitor the RF environment. In the 12 o'clock position, you also have the LEDs that indicate the overall operational status of the array as well as uplink ports. The topmost LED identifies the status of the gigabit uplinks. Next is the 10100 management port, and finally at the bottom is the LED that identifies the overall array status. You put all the array's capabilities together, and you can see this platform offers the most advanced design for deploying a high-performance, high-capacity wireless solution. Some of the features include a fully integrated Wi-Fi controller for high performance, an integrated gigabit switch to eliminate wired choke points, multiple gigabit uplinks provide higher bandwidth and redundancy, the sectored antennas offer greater range and capacity, an integrated spectrum analyzer to monitor the RF environment, 
an integrated threat detector provides wireless IDS IPS services and a fully upgradable design to support today's requirements as well as future needs. The Xerus Wi-Fi Array. It provides more range, more coverage, more bandwidth, and higher performance per cable drop than any other Wi-Fi solution, and it accomplishes this with 75% less devices, cabling, switch ports, and installation time. Xerus means high performance Wi-Fi.